Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I think this is like my fourth or fifth video today. Um, I've always been talking a bad about the PSA. Granted, I haven't used BGS yet. I'll probably use BGS come around when my PSA membership ends. So I don't have the pricing charts for BGS. I'm certain the pricing charts are similar, but what I appreciate more is the realism. Um, so here we have what I would, you know, I would do most of my submissions. I don't know what the difference is between gaming and submissions are, but both of them are between five to six months. And it even says plus months, so it can be even longer. So what I'm getting at is I'm certain this is equivalent to the $10 service with PSA. And what I'm getting at is I appreciate the honesty versus PSA being like, oh yeah, 40 business days, 60 business days. And it's way longer than that. Um, I'd rather you be honest with me versus basically fail to meet your standard and then not give me any rebate. Um, but why I'm also talking about this is because I have several buddies who I've who I know have Pokemon cards, but they weren't into the buying and selling thing. They just had Pokemon cards, and I contacted them to let them know about the market currently, and that you know I can help them get them on the market. Uh, I'm not asking for anything. Um, that's up to them if they want to give me anything. I'm not asking for anything. I would love to get their cards on the channel if their collection is as big as they say it is. My one buddy, I remember his collection. He said he does have it in hand. And he's going to send me some pictures and videos tomorrow. Um, he had a ton of Charizards as a kid. I cannot wait till he sends me those videos. And I was suggesting he needs to get them graded and sell them. So I don't know what the prices are. I'm certain the prices are pretty similar to PSA. Now, the other reasons why I do BGS over PSA is one, BGS was the original like select service for Pokemon cards. PSA is for sports cards. PSA stands for Professional Sports Authenticator. BGS stands for Beckett Grading Services. And Pokemon cards were originally featured in Beckett Magazine for a long time. Um, it was like their specialty. So... Why did I make the mistake? And I will label it as a mistake. And not just due to the terms and length of waiting. Um, I watched several channels for a little while. And a lot of people were saying PSA, you know, PSA 8 demands more money than a BGS 8. And I would say generally that can be true. But there's some specialty things that come with the BGS in terms against the PSA. And here's what I'm getting at. And another PokeTuber. Oh, I just added quite a few PokeTubers. I can't remember his name. I think he's, his real name is Jake. I don't know what his YouTube name, uh, channel name was. Um, but he said something that I've been thinking about for a while. And it's in terms of this. So PSA has a max of 10 for the best grade you can get. BGS has a 10, and then they also have a black label 10. What that means in terms of difference is this. So for example, there was the shiny, I mean still exists, there's the shiny GX uh, uh, secret rare Charizard, the one that is, he's, he's like blackish and his background is silver. He, as a BGS 10 and PSA 10, sell for generally the same price, around the thousand dollar mark. The BGS 10 black label was going for 10 grand, and there was even some that accidentally sold for a little bit higher. That is a 10 times markup for an already 10 graded card. What I'm getting at is, and it doesn't cost any extra to get the black label. It's not like you pay extra for it. It's just whether or not your card is susceptible to making that grade. And here's what I'm getting at. And Jake said the same thing. A PSA 10 and a BGS normal 10 and a BGS black label 10, there probably isn't really a difference. Um, it's all a matter of you having to luckily get that black label. It's like winning the lottery. Um, on top of winning the lottery of getting a graded 10 card. Um, but that's why I would suggest you use the BGS. Um, one, this is kind of cheating the system. Uh, 
the reason why people argue that BGS isn't worth as much as a PSA card is because BGS is known to have slightly lenient, like weaker standards than the PSA, um, which I would say is true. Uh, Lee and Hart did a video to where he sent several cards into the BGS and the cards he showed, the whiting was pretty significant. It's cards that I would have given, I would have figured we would have gotten six to sevens um, via PSA or BGS. And most of them came back eight, eight and a half, and even higher from BGS. Um, granted, we don't know if BGS took into account that it was Leanheart who sent them in. They know your accounts. They know who you are, especially when you're sending in. If you're someone sending in a ton of cards, they're going to find out who you are. They're going to look up, oh, who just sent these in to us? Oh, it was, you know, these are the cards we got. They know. Um, so, you know, question is, did they use it as advertising to increase people who want to use their services? Um, and same thing with PSA. I'm certain PSA does it. Uh, so we don't know how that truly goes. And we'll find out eventually when I send some stuff into the BGS. Because the thing is, PSA, even though I paid for their membership, they're not even giving a quarterly special on Pokemon cards because they're getting so many anyways. They have no reason to give a sale on it, which is ridiculous. Um, pretty much made becoming a PSA member absolutely pointless. Um, they're not even doing bulk discounts. I mean, it's whatever. Uh, it's going to bite them in the back end. Um, they're hurting themselves by doing this. By not meeting your obligations, you're hurting yourself. Uh, it's okay to change the description and say, hey, um, our $10 service is no longer a three-month wait time. It's a six-month wait time. It's not okay to say it's a three-month wait time and then still make people wait six months. Um, that's pretty much a scam. Uh, so the PSA is hurting themselves in the back end. Um, BGS may take the lead. And it looks like BGS is starting to take the lead because the prices are starting to match. And that's why I'm saying, and advantageous for anyone trying to make money off this, uh, I would say use BGS. You have a better chance of getting a higher grade, and the grades are now demanding the same val value as PSA cards. So instead of getting a PSA 7, and getting only, you know, the money for a PSA 7, whatever that card would have been worth, like 100 bucks is a PSA 7, that card might be a BGS 8.5, and, and now you're getting $500 for that card instead of only 100, because um, the grades do make, you know, as you go up and just slightly grades, it can jump up pretty heavily. So I would say definitely, um, i definitely say use BGS. Uh, it'd be nice if... They somehow tracked me down and gave me some sort of decent discount. Uh, and I'd totally admit to it, too, if they did. Um, I have no ties or obligations with the with BGS. I would love to use them. Uh, I did have one of their cards that I had won um, in a decent uh, auction on eBay and made a little bit of money off of it. Uh, I actually liked the, um, the case it came in more than the PSA because BGS actually tells you uh, why the card got that graded versus... PSA tells you no reason. You just get the card and it's great and that's it. Um, so you can even kind of, you know, understand what to look for in the future with, with BGS grades and stuff. But yeah, there's always that chance you'll get that black label. And that black label can be worth apparently 10 times as much as the non-black label. So, you know, I know PSA 10, first edition Shadowless Charizards go for like 150 grand. Imagine someone pulls a black label for a first edition Shadowless Charizard. Um, I don't think it'll go for 1.5 mil, uh, but I could see it pulling 500 grand. And you, it's not really a, a huge gamble. It's kind of a no-brainer, because you can still just get a BGS Normal 10 non-black label, and it will still go for 150, 150 plus grand. So um, since the cost of the services are probably the same, uh, I would say use BGS for Pokemon, guys. Um, I strongly suggest it. They do other cards, uh, but Pokemon, I strongly suggest BGS, and that's why. And uh, that's why I suggested to my one buddy today when he talked to me about, you know, getting cards graded when he eventually finds his cards and talked to me about the market. And um, it just makes too much sense to me. I really regret going PSA. Um Maybe if the PSA eventually sends me some sort of rebate deal, and not just me, hopefully they send everyone that they have failed 
a rebate deal like a big company should um what i predict is i predict bgs will overtake psa in the pokemon market um within within the year not the end of this year like not by the end of 2020 but i would say by 2021 somewhere in between 2021 back at grading services will overdo psa for pokemon and i would say psa what they are also doing is they are by failing to meet obligations and not just changing their standards to match what is actually happening instead of using uh, a generic bl br bland excuse um they are opening the market for another grading service to become a full-fledged grading service i know there's like cgcc and mint grading but really we all know that the two grading services that matter are BGS and PSA. And PSA is showing their rear ends right now. And I think they're going to lose the Pokemon market to BGS by 2021. I think BGS will be the standard for a long time. And I think we're going to see some uprising new grading services coming out. Uh, honestly, grading can't be that hard. I don't know all the aspects to it and what happens in those facilities, but I could see your main cost being the Sonic card sealer. And other than that, uh, PSA, BGS, all those companies probably only pay a dollar for that case that they put your card in. And understanding labor and owning my own businesses that I have, I would say, uh, you know, I don't know how much they pay their employees, but if they're getting ten dollars per card, I'd say majority of their of the people that are sending stuff in are, are paying that ten dollar card service. Um, there's, I mean, there's still a good amount of people paying the two hundred and higher dollar card service. I mean, I paid two hundred dollars for a card service, but it was for my Shadowless Charizard. Um, but knowing that they that there's card services at ten dollars, that means that it probably takes ten minutes or less to grade each card. And I'm not saying that in terms of that's a shame on them for not completing cards faster. That's fine, um, you know, just say, like, why it takes so long. Because they could just be dealing with a huge inventory, which they are. Um, but understanding how a business works and where to make profit and margins and stuff like that, I would say it probably takes 10 minutes to grade a card. So just based on the fact that I know that some cards, oh, most of their cards are the $10 service. And if you're paying your employee ten dollars an hour, and it takes an hour, that means you're not making any money, and that doesn't make any sense. So, I'd say it takes ten minutes or less to write a card. Uh, these are my opinions on it. These are what I'm seeing. This is what I'm analyzing. Um, and I do, I definitely believe Beckett will take control by 2021. Doesn't mean PSA won't do it. It just means that BGS will be the full-fledged new standard for a while after 2021. And um, PSA may even lose out to another, let's say, we'll just say third party grader. I think, I think PSA is really shooting themselves in the foot. They're, they're not keeping up with demands and obligations. They're failing to do that. It's okay to fail to do that, um, especially in today's times. It's not smart to not meet some sort of customer relation for this. Uh, I would suggest rebates, bigger deals, discounts, um, free vouchers, not like a ton of them, but you know, send, if, if, if they sent me like five free vouchers of the lowest service, I'd, I would compliment them very heavily for that, especially if they did it for everyone across the board that they failed to meet services for, especially those who are their members. I'm a platinum member. That's the highest you can get for them. Um, so it's a little ridiculous. Uh, I hope PSA watches this i hope that they are learning from it uh my my major in college was in customer relations so um try and help you out guys i'd like to continue to use your services but you need to make it a service to be worth using thanks bye